Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and this video will show all iPhone 4, 3GS, iPod Touch 4th and 3rd gens, and the original iPad users how to jailbreak on iOS 5 Beta 1. It may work on future betas, but for now it just works on Beta 1. Also, if you guys haven't updated to iOS 5 Beta 1 and you would like to, I will have a video on how to do that very soon. Unlockers need to stay away from iOS 5 because Ultra Snow is not supported on the iOS 5 firmware. Now, for this jailbreak, we're going to be using Red Snow 0.9.8 Beta 1. It is Mac only for the moment, so if you have a PC, I'd either find a Mac or wait it out. And it is tethered. We're back to the tethered ages, guys. Basically, if your device turns off or you have to reboot it, you won't be able to power it on without the help of a computer and Red Snow. You'll be stuck on the Apple logo until you can use the tether boot option in Red Snow. So that's just a big inconvenience about this jailbreak. But if you're on iOS 5 and you want to be jailbroken, this is the only solution for now. Okay, so with all that aside, we can go ahead and get started in settings. I'm just going to show you I am on 5.0. And okay, so go ahead and plug in your device. Make sure you have these two things on your desktop. Red Snow 0.9.8 Beta 1, as well as your 5.0 Beta 1 firmware. Now you can get all of those things down below in the description, as well as the detailed guide. But okay, open up Red Snow, browse for your 5.0 firmware, let it process for a bit, and click Next. It's going to prepare the jailbreak data. Okay, so here we're just going to select Install Cydia, click Next. Now we're going to power off our device. Okay, and move that aside. Now we're going to click Next and hold the power button for 3, 2, 1, together with the home button for 10, 9, eight seven six five four three two one let go of the power button and keep holding the home button okay and now our device is being jailbroken so just give it about five to ten minutes and we will be done okay my ipod touch has booted up after the jailbreak and if we slide over we do have cydia if it's white and closes that's what's supposed to happen it's perfectly normal basically what we got to do is tether boot it now take note this is what you're gonna have to do every single time your battery dies or you reboot your device so go ahead and plug it in and open up red snow gonna browse for the 5.0 firmware it's going to process basically the same thing. Next, prepare the jailbreak data. Okay, and on this screen, all we're going to do is click Just Boot Tethered Now. Next, again, we're going to put our device into DFU mode, so power it off. Okay, and we're going to click Next. Hold the power button for 3, 2, 1, together with the home button for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, to one, let go of the power button, keep holding the home button. Okay, and Red Snow will begin exploiting your device. You'll see this little pineapple logo, and your device should boot up momentarily. Once again, my iPod Touch has booted up, and Cydia is this nice icon now. We can go ahead and open it up, and you guys are now jailbroken on iOS 5.0. Just remember, this is a tether jailbreak, so don't stray too far from your computer if you're planning on turning your device off. But okay guys, thanks for watching. Please leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite feature of iOS 5 is, if you do have it. Also, don't forget to rate this video if it helped, if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and have a great day guys. Enjoy your tethered 5.0 jailbreak.